Across Belize City, properties in low-lying areas are taking in water. Inclement weather over the past few days has seen flooding in some communities, including Port Loyola, where a number of streets are inundated. For those living in abject conditions, excess rains have only made matters worse. This long barracks here for many years, so much years, like for a libo ideas, for a nice smile, thing, and I really want to really help those come for long barracks, for water, for you know, know, because we flood, flood out. I think barracks, everything, the whole, the whole roof, everything, tear down, all, you know, just need my hands for anybody who can use hands off for the barracks, which I help you to get out of the water. The situation at this apartment building on Gentle Lane is dire. There are three adjoined units and water has taken them all. For going in there right now, a lot of water. They walk up in the water right now, get up in the water, sleep in the water. But this is a part of life where, you know, if you got you, because you no know, help do the way, go help you see where to, but you also have a big feed, help see where to go come walk, leave feedback, we help. On the other side of the city, residents of Antelope Street Extension, in an area known as Jerusalem, are braving the weather. Their homes, all elevated above the Kruman Lagoon, are interconnected by a network of London bridges. For the most part, they are not directly affected by the intermittent rains, despite completely being surrounded by water. Right now we don't feel affected in no way because we have this new bridge now. Um, if we didn't have this bridge, we will. We, ha we had an old one. You could see um, that's the old one, but the, the old one was really low than this one. So, um, we're not that at fact right now. Well, us then, they have more people, more that work. We has a low bridge and they get affected on that. With a recent donation of lumber, the men went to work building a meandering footpath that is raised above the water and debris that have accumulated beneath. Fortunately, construction of the platform was completed well before the rains. We um, built it and in like three days, we build it all the way at the back. I know if you went to the back, yes. And um, that's how we get done to do the bridge. For Irving Gentle, a sanitation worker by profession, falling asleep and waking up in water has exposed him to all kinds of illnesses. His hope is that those in authority would at least see this coverage enough for assistance to be rendered to the residents of the tenement. It's really rough, man. It's really rough because in the day the water comes from underneath. So as you get off of your bed, that's straight in the water, your foot drop. You know, like you have to jump off and straight by hands so straight in the water. So it's sure to make you get draft, you make you catch flus, you make you catch tea back a low piece or no. Then again, the COVID-19 is going right now. So the place looks slacky. Uh, thing wet up, everything wet up, clothes wet up. Mattress with top dig us it is like man dig us you want to be better for we better for everybody see it to me. Reporting for News Five, I am Sanika Tano.